So from scratch. Okay. <laughs> Guys, if there's so many cuts and edits, it's only Caleb and I in the studio today. So Caleb is on the couch and he's filming as yeah. well. So it's a bit crazy, but be with us. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Danny. Welcome back to another episode of Cash Creators. Um, before we get into today's guest, <laughs> I just want to send a major shout out to Ghana Dude Hub for giving us the space to shoot today's video. Today we've got a very, very special guest that's not actually a guest. We've got Crazy Kai himself. Caleb, welcome to the couch. Oh, thank you so much, guys. This is the third, fourth attempt of this of video. this video. Jeez, you've been trying to... Oh, okay. They, nobody wants to know that. Yeah, nobody wants to know. We I've struggled. We, do, we don't have time for that now. Let's continue. Danny, how are you doing? I know you've been very stressed out now. Like, First of all, Caleb came late. Yeah, sorry about that. It was late, guys. I said you for all hour. For, for a star man, you, you, they always come late, you know. Insert eye roll. Are you gonna insert like a yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. look at this dude? Yeah, so where do we start? First, tell the audience how we got to know each other and like how you had a crush on me. They said that conversation the third time. Okay, let's have that <laughs> conversation for the third she time. Was Google eyeing me back in you know your first year. Caleb's you know. cute, guys. Like, come on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. in my first year, <laughs> Caleb was doing his honors. Yeah, yeah. Um, we had met through a mutual acquaintance. She yeah. wasn't a friend. Yeah, she was. She, she also had a crush on me, didn't she? Yeah. But anyway, there's not. Anyway. Um, yeah. Um, I hit Caleb up. We started talking. We met. I insulted her, and then she got angry at me. And then she wanted to burn me, and she wanted to kill me, and then so many things. Mm. And yeah, three years later, we are sitting on the couch and speaking about yeah, our. Those story. three years was amazing. Three years. Actually, she ghosted me for those three years. For the I don't know. As soon as I, COVID happened, we just disappeared. You no. Know, I think we were both just living our lives. I mean, you had just started working and you were with your masters and I was busy with my studies and also working and organizations and all that stuff, so... Okay, okay. So, yeah. We go with that. We go with that for mm -hmm. it as an excuse. My apologies, but I'm here now, so I mean... True, true. How was it varsity like? Because you were busy out there with my friends. Like, how did you just infiltrate my friends and just to get to know me better? Is that what Yeah, that's okay. what happened. I befriended his friends because he was never around, guys, because he was helping out at what? The OSWD Office for Students with Disabilities. With Disabilities. So he was always busy. Yeah. Um, While they were smoking weed. Not there. I was class. I was actually doing some great initiatives on UWC. Shout out to them in terms of helping disabled students, you know, with editing. And, okay, I wasn't doing that all that high, highly stuff but i was i was he was there i was doing the things you know while these guys were just anyway yeah, you know you know i have regrets actually that you weren't hanging out with us yeah i didn't have the full uwc experience you know mm. need to think about it but yeah i was just a too good of a boy yeah <laughs> so i infiltrated his friends well not infiltrated i just became friends with his friends and then we were just like this close-knit group of friends um caleb and i still didn't hang out as much as we'd like to but whenever we did speak we had very meaningful conversations that was about me and it was about you and how to um evolve as a youtuber and as a person as well true because I, I had very anxiety much anxiety anxiety yeah i didn't know how to interact with people mm. i was just like a loner a lone wolf a weird guy yeah. the freak the creep that's that's the always saying dumb shit around us yeah. always like what the fuck like i like i would always say when i speak about my crush on caleb i'd always say caleb was very attractive up until he opened his mouth look i didn't know what to say i get nervous when i'm surrounded by beautiful women <laughs> Okay, no. <laughs> I'm actually improving with my game. Mm, well done. Mm, it's not working on me, but well done. I'm trying. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Caleb, tell us, are you single? Yes. Yo. Yes. Ladies, here's your opportunity, but you have to come through me first. Yeah. Yeah, I'm that. I'm, I'm that looking person. for a strong, independent woman. She's right next to you. True. This one over here. But you can't, get, you can't get involved with your, your colleagues. With your colleagues, it's, yeah. It's inappropriate, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 but then again, this is couch creators. We do what we want. Oh, so. hectic. What's happening here? <laughs> 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 it's jokes, guys. It's anyway, jokes. Let's, 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 let's talk about couch creators. Daniel, what do you think what the show is all about? Um, what do you want to ask me that question? What do you want to say? No, I, mean, I think you should answer that question. What is couch creators and why did you move from blogging to hosting a talk show despite being socially awkward? 
<laughs> which I'm very proud of by the Imagine way. from a guy that doesn't have to talk with two other people as well. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I stutter, but I don't know if you guys notice that, you know, like yep. I get tongue, st- tongue struck. Like, that's why I prefer behind the camera than mm-hmm. actually hosting. But anyway, that's uh, one thing that you know about me. I get nervous and I get like my words get tangled up. Anyway. Crazy kind of story. It started in 2014. And you were at Varsity at the time? Yeah, I was at Varsity at the time. I was always doing music, mixing around with Fruity Loops, mm, beats and stuff like that. And then my one cousin showed me a video in terms of like um, travel vlogs and stuff, and I was like so inspired by those videos. And I wanted to do like adventure videos like those guys, you know, like going to different exotic hikes, locations, and jumping off planes, mm. um, doing fun adventure stuff. And I was like, I also want to do that. I don't see anyone doing that in Cape Town. Yeah. And I started that way doing like when I go on hikes and go on to different locations um, where people don't know about like Blue Rock document, mm-hmm. like cool action shots using with my phone, so with my phone. Yeah. And then I bought my camera, my first camera, still my first camera, I didn't upgrade it. I was just like, you know, this is the same camera. It's still the same camera. I was like, oh, I was like, I don't see the point of playing, yeah. but I know that like, if you want to improve your game using you look at each other, especially when you're growing in the industry, you have to like, live up. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm just very comfortable. I feel like at this moment in time, this camera, like you don't need to have the best equipment. Yeah. You, have it. You, just, you can even, these days, you can even vlog with your phone yeah. and still get the best quality up. And so that's what I was doing in 24, just vlogging my excursions out with friends and parents. And then I evolved from there. I started like, trying to do music videos and mm-hmm. wedding videos. But then I realized, hey, shit, I don't have to keep doing some people like Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would stop that. I would rather delegate and ask other people on my heart to do it mm. for me. Because I like to work behind the scenes. Because I'm, some, I say I'm a visionary. Mm. I like to like see things and I like to bring people together that will work well with me. Yeah. Also, now that I think about it, as, the, as I grow, the meaning of crazy kind also means like people are dating and have to be different. Yeah. You know, crazy kind is like, the evolution of humankind, you know, the the, the, the humankind, take the human away and put replace it with crazy okay. kind <laughs> and say those are the individuals who are dating enough to, you know, spark creativity, to push boundaries and do things that are uncomfortable for those who are afraid to do so, to spark innovation mm. and change. Anyway, that's crazy kind to this point. Maybe will, the definition will change as I grow. Mm. It's constantly evolving as you evolve as... Pause! <laughs> Just to check. Yeah, we still have two minutes left. Evolves, so... We have two minutes left. Cool, what do you guys want to talk about? What's next? I don't know what's next. Pause! <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Couch Creators, how that started. So... I met up with Kiss Media Production at the Sun Met. And I asked, it's like, yo, let's collaborate, man. Let's do something. At, you know, we're just by chance at this whole studio came an extra bonus but anyway so we met up we did some a, a couch segment where we talk about photography and videography and how we can learn from one another's talents and different traits characteristics um, our past experience and how we can apply those experiences that we learn from others to enhance our skills so we invited more cases like that to come on the show that operate in the same industry in the photography especially students and freelance photographers who are self-taught come on talk on the show about their experience and then yeah ever since i decided to like invite expand the 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 the, the number of the, the types of guests that come to the show mm-hmm. uh like to musicians or anyone that's basically doing amazing things on, in their community and giving them a platform to market themselves freely of charge because everyone is entitled to showcase the talent. Am I making sense? Yes, you are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like trying to rush this segment because I don't know these cameras can just switch off so quickly. <laughs> so, Couch Kid Hater, so yeah, it started last year with Kiss Media Production. So shout out to him for, you know, introducing me to kind of do the hub and speed of Street Spa. Without him, this wouldn't be possible. Um, so I will always be grateful for him. Um, Pat, look at him, look, shout out to, just check out his socials at Pat Ifile. Thank we'll you. just drop it yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, Couch Creators is a show that is dedicated to 
crazy individuals who are you know are free spirited who are doing amazing things who are thinking outside the box they are innovators they are leaders who are inspiring or trying to make it big in the industry especially in Cape Town because not a lot of Cape Townians supports one another not like the mm -hmm. Jobiners because when I was in Job, I was like, oh, there's a community happening there. And I thought, like, okay, let's let's give the community here, let's establish a community here in Cape Town, you know. And so this show is dedicated to those individuals who always wanted to be in front of the camera to uh, market themselves, you know, showcase their talent, showcase their brand. So, yeah, the show is for you guys, you know. I just want to give you guys a platform to do your thing, you know. This is a free space. Guys smoke weed, it gets crazy. Daniel can tell you more about it. It's been wild. Yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully, you're still, like... I try to be the the link between the talented individuals coming to the show and then the audience that's watching can check them out and potential stakeholders, partners that mm -hmm. they want to liaise with them and connect with them could check yeah, the links out. Yeah, trying to fill the gap. Yeah, fill the gap so that they can push them to greater success. Mm -hmm. I'm saying success a lot, Emma. Mm -hmm. Is that bad? Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, I'm just trying to. Okay, he looks really nice, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, my mom did it. No, shout oh, your mom. Yeah, shout out, mom. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mama's boy. You know, my mom does everything for me. She had my clothes. Okay, we don't need to put that on the internet. She, she, she wash, she washes my clothes. She makes my food. She wakes me up in the morning. So. Yeah. What the? Last year, so like, do you want to say anything about your organization? Um, so I am currently the national chairperson of the NACCW Youth Forum and just like us trainers, the Youth Forum is a platform for young people that have been through the child system, you know, those of us that stay in children's homes, foster care, all of those things that come from disadvantaged households, to come and speak about the challenges that they are facing in the communities, in the schools, in the centres, and how we as young people can find youth solutions to those youth problems. We operate in all nine provinces throughout the country. We are a group of about 2,000 young people. Um, and it doesn't only end with us that we go out into communities as young people still in need of care, but we also do outreaches. We give back to the communities, we give back to the centers. We engage with various people, you know, Puma people in the United Nations, UNICEF, parliamentary members. Um, yeah, that is, that is what we do. And where can we find us? You can find us on Facebook, NACCW Forum. Um, and then you can follow Emma Malani Projects on Instagram and Facebook and then Change Me This SA. It's all part of this. We all a collective of organizations that are striving for the same goal. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, but we'll get some of those young people to come to the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright guys, that was a quick um, discussion. Go. It felt like ages because of the times we had to do this. <laughs> I don't even know how this always going to start because the, the main cameras are running more so we had to really use the other one. So, thank you guys. If you stay this long, I appreciate you guys. And if you have anyone or if you are considered to come to the show, feel free to meet up. And I'm single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and should I take that as well? Yes, I am. Did you like me? Yeah, I did. Oh, my life. I didn't like you. Why did I? Because I didn't know that this was just going to be open. I liked it. I was like, I just switched. He's the light speed. I was like, yeah, why not? Anyway, guys, thank you. Uh, have a good one. And I'll see you next time. Um, yeah. Maybe it's Oh guys, yeah, I was, uh, when we were speaking about the movie, I just wanted to tell you guys that these are the things that other digital content creators are not going to show, they're not going to show the shots. So please bear with us, like, you know, the old edits and jumping and the audio and everything. But this is like the real life things that happen in the studio, it's not just lights, camera, action. Mm -hmm. And we're only, we're not professionals, mm -hmm. so we're also young, trying to figure things out as well as we learn. You know, we're going to make mistakes, you know, it's a learning curve. Yeah. Boring experience to this man because we feel like we're being varsity. We are completely out of our element here. <laughs> but we're trying new things because we're crazy kids. Crazy kids. Kids. We're pushing boundaries, you know, just like you can.
as aging as possible because we can do masters and internship work and still run a production which is Kaji Kai and Danny is hosting the organization and studying and doing <laughs> Anything is possible, so kids don't complain. Like, I don't complain. Just you have a comment to say something on this boy, but okay. Yeah. In your right eyes. Kids are about this. Thumbnail. I don't know how I'm going to do a thumbnail, is no one taking a picture? Is it a timer? 